In this video, we're going to look at production functions and technological progress. So first, what is technological progress? The ability to produce more output using the same number of inputs or the ability to produce a given level of output using fewer inputs. There are three types of technological progress. The first is neutral technological progress. This leaves the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital unchanged. The ratio of the marginal product of labor to the marginal product of capital, which is the MRTS, marginal rate of technical substitution, that remains unchanged, given a neutral technological progress. Uh, reminding ourselves again that the marginal rate of technical substitution is the marginal product of labor, divided by the marginal product of capital. We could have a labor-saving technological progress, and this decreases the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital. The marginal product of capital rises relative to the marginal product of labor. And an example, before the technological progress, let's say that the firm could replace five units of labor with one unit of capital, holding output fixed. Given the technological progress, the firm can now replace 10 units of labor with one unit of capital, holding output fixed. So this would be referred to as labor saving technological progress. Capital saving technological progress increases the marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital. The marginal product of labor rises relative to the marginal product of capital. So an example, before the technological progress, a firm could replace two units of capital with one unit of labor, holding output fixed. After the technological progress, the firm can replace four units of capital with one unit of labor, holding output fixed. So that is capital saving technological progress. Oh, so let's do some examples. A firm's production function changes from Q equals L times K, where L is units of labor, K is units of capital, to Q equals 2L times K. So first we'll just verify that this is a technological progress. We'll evaluate each production function at a given input mix. So let's say L equals 3 and K equals 2. I could have picked some other combination. Plugging that into the production function, the old production function, uh, we get output of 6, 3 times 2. Plugging that same input mix into the new production function, we get more output, so this is technological progress. The next question is, well, what type of technological progress? So our old production function, we're going to calculate the marginal rate of technical substitution. We'll get the marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital, both are derived by taking uh, partial derivatives. So the marginal product of labor is a partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor. We'll get back K, and the marginal product of capital is just L. So forming the marginal rate of technical substitution as a marginal product of labor divided by the marginal product of capital, we get K divided by L. Now, taking the new production function, once again, we're going to solve for the marginal rate of technical substitution and see if it is different. Did it increase, decrease, or stay the same? So getting our marginal products of labor and capital, marginal product of labor with this production function is 2K. Marginal product of capital with this new production function is 2L. Forming the marginal rate of technical substitution, this will simplify to K divided by L. Therefore, the marginal rate of technical substitution is unchanged, so this represents neutral technological progress. Example 2, a firm's production function changes from this here to this here. What type of technological progress does this change represent? So with our old production function, we get the marginal product of labor and capital. So taking the partial derivative of the production function with respect to labor, we bring the one half down in front. And then on this exponent here on the L term, it's one half minus one. That's why we have L raised to the minus one half power. And then likewise, the marginal product of capital is uh, derived in a similar manner. Forming the marginal rate of technical substitution and simplifying the one half terms cancel. And following the rules of exponents, we'll get L into we'll get L in the denominator and K in the numerator. 
with our new production function, uh, we'll get the marginal product to labor and marginal product to capital as follows. And here's our marginal rate of technical substitution. Once again, the marginal rate of technical substitution is unchanged, so we have neutral technological progress. Okay, example three, a firm's production function changes from this to the following. What type of technological progress does this represent? So with our old production function, we get our marginal product of labor and marginal product of capital. And we get our marginal rate of technical substitution by making our substitutions here. And simplifying, we get 0.5k divided by L. With the new production function, we have these marginal products of labor and capital forming the marginal rate of technical substitution. We see that the marginal rate of technical substitution increased. It went from 0.5k divided by L to just k divided by L. So this represents a capital saving, capital saving technological progress. Example four, firm's production function changes from this to this. What type of technological progress does this change represent? With our old production function, we get the marginal product to labor and marginal product to capital. Forming the marginal rate of technical substitution, this will simplify down very nicely to K divided by L. With our new production function, we get the marginal product to labor and marginal product to capital as follows. Forming the marginal rate of technical substitution, we're going to get K divided by 2L. So in this case, the marginal rate of technical substitution decreased. We went from K divided by L to K divided by 2L. So the marginal rate of technical substitution indeed decreased, and this represents a labor-saving technological progress. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.